Hello dear friends, in this uh, video I shall take up a topic which is very important for junior students and obviously at competitive level you know the students will be greatly benefited by this video. A major problem in front of the teachers that is mathematics teachers is to introduce the concept of LCM and HCF to the students. They confine themselves to the methods that is the prime factorization method and the long division method for finding the HCF obviously and uh, we have the relationship between LCM and HCF also and once they confine the students to those methods the students know the methods but they don't know the literal meaning of LCM and HCF whereas if you go by um, the definition approach like if you know what is LCM and what is HCF then the problems that is the higher problems of LCM and HCF become very very easy to handle. Now in this video so I am going to tell you the how to introduce uh, these two concepts to the students when they are taught for the first time. Now see LCM and HCF this contains the word multiples multiple and this contains the word factor. Now first of all the students have to told, be told what do you mean by factors and multiples. Once they are clear about factors and multiples only then the concept of LCM and HCF will be clear to them. Now how do you introduce the concept of multiples and factors? If you want to introduce the concept of multiples then you have to tell them like we have a number 3 and you want to write the multiples of 3. Now multiples of 3 are the numbers which occur in the table of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on these are called the multiples of a number. So this concept should not be told to the students they already know the tables. So you should ask them what are the multiples of a particular number. So if you practice it for uh, say 5, 6 such numbers then they will know what are multiples. Then come to factors. Now suppose you need the factors of a number, say factors of 10. Now you have to ask the students like which numbers are the exact divisors of 10. So they will tell you that 1 is a divisor of every number, so 1 is a factor of every number. Then 10 comes in the table of 2 also then it comes in the table of 5 and simultaneously it comes in the table of 10. So they will tell you that there are 4 factors of 10. Mind you these are factors, these are not prime factors. That, uh, that's the difference we failed to introduce in the students and uh, that's the um, problem which is created at higher level. So factors of 10 are the divisors of 10. So it starts with 1 and ends with the number itself. Likewise, you can ask the students what are the factors of 18. Now, once you give the examples of 10, then do not tell them all the factors of 18. Let them come out with the factors themselves so that they can be sure that they know the literal meaning of factors. So, they will al always start with 1 because you already told them that 1 is a factor of every number. After that, it will be 2 because 2 9s are 18, 3 6s are 18, it is not divisible by 4, 5, uh, it is divisible by 6, then it is divisible by 9 and then by 18 itself. So let the students understand what do you mean by factors and what do you mean by multiples. Now once you have introduced the meaning of multiples and factors, then only you can go for the meaning of LCM and HCF. Now I am taking up what do you mean by LCM. Now for finding the LCM of two numbers, you can take any two numbers. A simple example first up so that the students can be uh, sure that they know the method now. You can take the LCM of, suppose we have 12 and say we have, okay, I will take a, a number which is easy to handle, say 20. 12 and 20. 
Now LCM contains the alphabet M, so you have to start from M first. Ask them to write the multiples of 12. So multiples of 12, for 12 the multiples are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72 and so on. These are the multiples of the first number 12. After this, the second number is 20. So, write down the multiples of 20 also. So, now they will tell you 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and so on. Once they are aware of these multiples, then you have to introduce the next term that is C and C stands for common. Now, what do you mean by common? Common means something which exists in both. So, you want to find the common multiples now. So, M is multiples and C means common. So, C M means common multiples. See, 12 is not common, 24 is not common, 36 is not common, 48 is not common, 16. Now, this is the first number which is occurring in both the multiples and then tell them then that the meaning of L is least that means the smallest and before 60 there is no other common multiple so the LCM of these two numbers 12 and 20 is actually 60 itself. I'll take one more example to make it more clear say I'll take an easy example first because when you introduce a concept to the students then you have to be uh, you have to be taking very very easy examples so that students can comprehend them very easily. So let's take the LCM of 4 and 6. Now see for 4 the multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and so on. And for 6, it is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48 and so on. Now, once they write the multiples, M is done. Now, we need to approach C. Common. 4 is not common. 6 is not common. 8 is not common. But 12 is common. 16, 18, 20, 24 is common. Okay. 28, 30, 30, 32, 36 is common. Now see these are common multiples. So common multiples of these two numbers are 12, 24, 36 and there will be many more. And now come to the word least. Least means the smallest one. So LCM of 4 and 6 will be the smallest one that is 12. So if you tell students meaning of the word LCM, only then they will be able to understand why the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12 because in the multiples of 4 and 6, there are some common multiples and the smallest one of those common multiples is 12. That is why the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Likewise, when you have to introduce the concept of HCF, I told you HCF involves the word factor. Now suppose we need the HCF of 12 and 18 itself. Now you need to write all numbers which divide 12 exactly. So we need to write the factors. So all factors start with 1, then it occurs in 2, 2 stable, then 3, 4 also, then 6 and then 12. And what about 18? It is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. So these are the factors. Now for, for the explanation purpose we write HCF in a separate uh, uh, margin and we tell them that we have written the factors that is we have covered the F part of the explanation. And now come to the C part. C means common. So factors are done and now come to the common. So we need uh, numbers which are common in the two factors. So all factors of 12, all factors of 18. What are the common factors? It is 1, 2, 3, 6. So these are the common factors. There is nothing else which is common. And then come to the word H that is highest. 
Now, highest of 1, 2, 3. So, these are the common factors. I will write it for you once. Common factors. These are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So, which is the highest common factor? Highest of this is 6. Therefore, the HCF of 12 and 18 is 6. I know you may debate that this method will not be useful for big numbers, large numbers. But I am making this video only for small children and for those who are beginning to learn HCF and LCM to develop a basic understanding of the two concepts so that they can solve all higher problems very easily. So let's take one more example and then we will conclude. Let's write the HCF of say we have 20 and Okay, uh, let's take a little bit higher number, say 32. Now I need to write the factors of 20. So it is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. And for 32, it is 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, 8 for the 32. So we have 16 and then 32. So what are the common factors? I will write the HCF directly. So what are the common factors? 1 is common, 2 is common, 4 is common, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, 32, nothing else is common. So HCF of the 2 is highest that is 4. So this is how you need to teach students the concepts of uh, you know the uh, overall terms uh, what you are using in mathematics at the first level so that they are not afraid of them when they solve higher problems. So friends and teachers if you like this video do share it with all the students and parents teachers who are dealing with small children of the age group of say 9 to 12 years so that they can tease them this way and not uh, confine them to methods of finding HCF and LCM. So if you like this video, do share it with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for more notifications of uploads.